Hi, this is Saskia from Paper and Journaling, and thanks for watching. And for today's project, you need uh, three envelopes, um, and uh, I already cut some uh, papers uh, in the size of the envelope uh, but, uh, that I will put on, so like this. Um, and uh, you can choose whatever you want, but uh, we're gonna create something a nice, a nice uh, folder of it. And these are already two pages, and that's the first thing we're gonna do. I took them from an old book. And uh, oh, before I forget, don't forget to like my video and to subscribe. And uh, I would be very happy with that. And um, if you have some book papers, put them in. It's not going as planned uh, as easy, but uh, they will. And um, we draw a line like this, then you can cut them out and then we can glue them in uh, exactly um, uh, yes, as the envelope. And um, I always have an, uh, an old book, it's almost, um, almost empty, but um, I need to go to uh, to uh, to uh, to go somewhere to get an old nice old book with a little bit of yellow pages. I like that. And um, if you can glue them, uh, if you're going to glue them in, always be careful that you glue them in um, so that the lines are not upside down because that uh, that looks a little bit stupid. Uh, I cut the other one as well. It works the same, of course. And now we are going to uh, ink every every corner, every part we see, all the edges. And um, I use a dark brown color simply because that's um, uh, that covers the most. And I forgot to cut this one uh, first. You're doing that only for two envelopes. Uh, I need a little part off simply because I made them for the envelope uh, on top and not inside. And inside is always a little bit smaller, of course. And this is for the other envelope. Just so for two envelopes, for the third envelope, we're going to do something else. And um, put them in. And I always, um, in this case, it's on the back side, make the, make the line. So the other side will be uh, glued on the envelope. And if you cut it, make it a little bit smaller, simply because um, um, otherwise it's exactly the same like the envelope. And that's not, uh, that's not so pretty. Like this. And, of course, ink that as well, because everything needs to be inked. Well, if you want a vintage look, of course, if you don't want to, then uh, then you, you can do it whatever color you want to, uh, to create it. Uh, and first, glue this one's in. I use ordinary, uh, ordinary glue with it so that I can um, um, uh, always, with my fingers, can... can, can uh, oh my goodness, what is that English word? But you know, if you if you have that glue that immediately stuck to the, uh, each other, then then it's it's all more difficult. And now, um, uh, inked all the edges that are uh, might be still a little bit uh, a little bit white. And I like it when the inside is covered as well. And then we glue this one over here. I always like it when I have this kind of folders. I put in papers, I put in things. Um, um, yeah, I use them for everything. Important things, not important things. So these are the two envelopes. Now the outside is still empty, uh, but uh, the inside is done for two envelopes. And we are going to glue them together, and then it's already a little pocket folder. I don't know what the exact word is. And now we're going to take the third envelope. And we're going to stuck that one like this, like that. So it's a tree folder, like that. And we're gonna 
glue two parts just on top and we're gonna make pockets above because you can't put it in uh, in in that way uh, it's too too difficult to put something in over that so and I needed the bigger one of course you can use also the two envelopes and make there four envelopes of then you have a real book thing that's nice as well and now I forgot to ink this part and that's going to become a very ugly as you see because I put glue on it as well so um, don't do that just uh, make uh, 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 put some paper in it that's uh, that's that's more beautiful and uh, because it's ugly I use some washi tape you can use washi tape for everything so also for this then I can cover it up and uh, that looks a lot better this is the back side always check if you use the right way so the that the, the the lines of your if you use a, a book uh, inside that the lines are on the right side and the front is still to come but we do that uh, later on and i just made a, a small pocket just two sides uh and uh, uh only the 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 the, the, the oh, it was all glued of course and then we have a pocket over here and on this side I saw a very nice uh, envelope which I will glue in but you can make uh, just uh, the pocket uh, like uh, like I did uh, on the other page as well of course but I have it in uh, my um, drawer already for I don't know uh, two years never used and now I'm going to use it so that's that part now we need to uh, put the the front and I'm going to use um, this part I'm going to create a hole in it so that uh, I can put a rope around it and this is the tricky part because I'm very good in not cutting in in the middle so I hope it goes uh, goes well well it could be worse it could be worse so this will be on front of uh, uh, on the front and, and now I'm thinking I think a blue blue line will cover the um, the nicest uh, with it And then it's uh, the basic things is done and now you can de decorate it um, whatever you like I must say I like the paper already uh, too much so that I don't need to have um, stickers on front and at the back that's um, uh, this paper is from Tim Holtz and he creates such so beautiful papers you don't you don't have to do anything uh, for that and what I said, only some uh, some some stickers to um, make it a bit more beautiful. I like it when that you can see through the envelope. And I'm going to put something over here, something over. Here. And when I'm busy, you know, you're all, when I'm busy, I'm always busy like that. Well, don't forget to subscribe and to like my video. I hope um, it gives you some pleasure to create it. And I hope to see have you have a lot, a lot. I hope you have a pleasant week and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye bye.